Hello and welcome back to Platypie Baseball here on a lovely special Friday evening edition here on the Classic Cooking Gaming channel. It is Cookie Frisbee Cutter ready to bring you some more baseball action. First though, the lineup cards for your Platypie. We have from batting 1 to 9 at the leadoff spot, Kitty Kaufman, who's playing second base. Harrow Wugliams in our right field. Beefcake McStevens over there at the hot corner. Muffin Studwick is back out there in the cleanup spot in left field. And then Sco <laughs> Scooter Sam Brick, my apologies there, is back in the fifth spot in the batting order at playing first base. Jude Harrell's doing the catching tonight. He is catching uh, in the sixth hole tonight. And then Kerry Cartman. Playing shortstop, batting 7th. Willie Bacon is getting the start out there in center field after Linda Hanna had been struggling the past couple of games. And then Stoopy Tubrick is your pot of pie starting pitcher on the day. He features a 4-seam fastball, 2-seam fastball, curveball, and changeup. And now for the visiting grapplers. Kelby King is over there in right field leading off. At third base, it's Ali Findeer. In the third hole, first baseman Devin Godsendez. And then Joven Bambino is playing right field, sorry, playing left field, and is batting cleanup at the number five spot. It's second baseman Ian Fielder. Shortstop Eduardo Electro is batting six for the Grapplers today. Marco DiMarco is over there in patrolling center field, and he is batting seventh. And now Adalmo Foley, my apologies if I did not pronounce that correctly, is behind the dish, batting eighth. And Spencer Slow is on the mound for the Grapplers. He features a four-seamer, two-seamer, and a slider. So, here we go. Underway, Stubby Tubrick. 562 ERA, 144 whip, 21 Ks, and starts off Kelby King with a strike. Uh, the uh, Grapplers are officially out of the playoffs. This is game 31 of 32. Just two more games left, including this one. Before the playoffs... And now the 0-2 pitch will miss low. And your Platypi have officially, as that will be spit on for ball two, have officially clinched the playoffs. As that swung on and missed for strike three. Two brick gets a K to start things out today. The Grapplers are also in the Epic Division. They are uh, fourth and six games back, three games back of the wild card, so they are officially out of it. Now that's grounded over to Beat Cake. At third, and he just stands there. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Good thing this game doesn't very doesn't really mean much. And there's strike one to uh, Devin. The 0-1 down the line, and Beefcake will not get to it. Muffin is slowly trotting, and oh my goodness, folks! And Muffin will not throw the ball in, and the run's gonna score. And Beefcake is waving his arms, but nothing doing. And we might have to take a break here for some technical difficulties. And oh my goodness, a phantom user is the problem in this one. One run is in because of it, and there's strike one. Now that's grounded. This time Beefcake will make the, uh, the diving grab. So spectacular, I lost my words there for a moment. Now two outs for Ian Fielder, runner in scoring position at second base. Now that's whack back foul. The 1-1. One, one. Got him to swing over it. Strike two. The payoff pitch. And he'll hold up there just barely. But ball two. The 2-2. Two, two. He will not even look at that one. Three and two. And that's high ball four. So after being ahead in the count, he'll lose him on, on uh, balls. And now... With two outs, up, up comes the shortstop, Eduardo Electro. Quickly falls 0-1. And, and now that's grounded back to two break. He bobbles, recovers, fires, and got his man for out number three. So a phantom user results in one run and a couple hits. But luckily we have a good offense here on this side of things in the Platypie. Ball one to Kitty Kaufman. Spencer Slow features, or sorry, has a 204 ERA. 164 whip and 14 Ks on the year, and he will get Kitty to ground out, ground out to Gutsendez for out number one. Here's Hera O'Wugliams. 
She's going to bloop one here into, into left field and just past the diving Electro for a base hit. That will bring up Beefcake McStevens. Runner on first. Not very good speed. And one out. Ball one. Also behind the dish. Not a very good arm. There's ball two up and away. Now that's ripped up the middle but caught by Ian Fielder. Great read by Hera to go back on the line. And that's out number two. That will bring up Muffin Studwick. Got a day off last week. Or a game off last week I should say. That's strike one. The 0-1. Once again, just two more games left. This one doesn't really matter for either team. Two and one. Your, your Platypi have clinched it before the Phantom user, as I was saying before, the Phantom user rudely interrupted. But this one's going to be popped into center field, and DeMarco will make the grab to end the inning. So a one-out hit will result in nothing in the run column. And now we'll head to the top of the second. One-nothing grapplers, and DeMarco will take strike one. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, that's in the dirt. Jude will strap on the apron, fire to first. He'll complete his housekeeping duties, and there's out number one. Strike one, the outside corner. Ball one. So, the Platypi, the official winners of the Epic Divisions, that's going to be... Just off the diving glove of Kerry Cartman. A great try. It'll still be an, a hit, though, for the grapplers. And that'll bring up Spencer Slow, the opposing pitcher, with one out. Is he bunting? He showed it, but pulled back. Infield is playing at double, double play depth. And we'll see. They are now shifting over to, to try to uh, account for the bunt. Shows it again, ball one. The one one. Shows and pulls back again, one and two. The one two pitch. Finally gets it down. And oh, there's con some confusion on who to get it, but luckily Katie Carf Kaufman will cover the bag. And that's out number two. Some confusion there by, uh, by Sandbrick and uh, Stuby, two brick, on who was gonna get the ball. Luckily, though, Kitty Coffin was doing her job in covering first base, so that once they finally decided what was going on, she was they had uh, they had somebody covering. Now, quickly, the two-one count, two and two now, to Kelby King, the leadoff hitter. The two-two with a runner on second, and that's going to result in a three-and-two count. The pitch swung on and miss extremely late on that one, and. Uh, Stuby will get out of it here without a run scoring. So now Scooter Sandbrick will step in. A 450 average on the year, and he might add to it here. Liner into center field, but caught by DeMarco for out number one. Here is Jude Harrell. Midseason acquisition. And he's going to pop one into center field to DeMarco again. And he'll make the grab. DeMarco is getting a lot of uh, of action out here, out there early on in this one. And now that's quickly grounded by Cartman to Electro for out number three. So, Ali Findare will step in here. Top of the third inning. And ground one immediately. Really hard to Cartman who will field and fire to first for out number one. A worm burner there. Now, first pitch to Gacindez will miss just low. We'll try again with it, and we'll get the call this time. Strike one. Now, that's grounded in between the hole, and neither Beefcake nor Carey will dive for it, and it'll get past for a one-out hit. Now, Bambino will step in. And now that's line caught by Carey Cartman and almost got caught napping over there at first. But just back in time. And now two outs, runner on first for Ian Fielder, who will whiff on that one. Strike one. Strike two. Runner is going, and the throw is just late. That was a ball inside. So the one-two pitch now will be ball. And you don't want to give up a hit now, especially. 
And swung on and missed a well-placed fastball, and he just swung right over it. So, another one-out hit, but still no damage. And still remains a 1-0 ball game. I guess I shouldn't say still no damage. They do have one run up there. Now Willie Bacon. 2-0 count. And oh, that one is crushed deep. And leaping try. And it's over the glove of the left fielder. And that is gone into the bullpen for Willie Bacon. He'll tie things up with his second homer. 12th RBI of the season. It's all knotted up here at Colonial Plaza. Willie Bacon trying to prove that he deserves to be in this lineup. And that may have been only out at that part of the ballpark, but hey, it counts. And now Stubby will just ink in a, a base hit there. The grabber left fielder uh, just trapped it. And there's ball one to Kitty Kaufman, who's going to ground this one over to the right side. And that's going to be off the glove of fielder into shallow right field. Kitty will out have an infield single. Stubby stays, stays at second. And now Hero Wugliams has an RBI chance here with nobody out in the bottom of the third inning. And there's strike one on the outside corner. Hera does have 22 ribbies on the year. The 1-1 count. That's up the middle. Base hit. Are they going to wave Stubby? They're not. They're going to play it safe. Station to station. Now the base is juiced for Beefcake McStevens who had a homer in the last game. He might be smelling a grand slam here. The first pitch to him. Ball one low. The 1-0 pitch. On the ground to Fielder. He'll fire to second in time. Over to first. Double play. So no RBI for BK McStevens. But a run will come in to score to give the pot of pie the lead here in the bottom of the third inning. Here's Muffin who will take strike one. In case any young viewers or young, uh, young fans did not know... When, uh, when a batter gets into a double play, even with the run scoring, they do not get the RBI if a run comes into score. It's still, they do not get the RBI. So now runners are at the corners after that walk to Muffin Studwick for Scooter Sandbrick, who has 20 RBIs on the year, looking to make it 21 at least. And now that's flied out to right field, but tailing foul, and it will get foul. The one and one count now. Now that's out the middle, off the glove of the pitcher, slow. The throw to first is just in time. Beat him by a step or step and a half. And so they will get out of the inning, but not before. A couple of runs come in to score on a Willie Bacon solo shot and a uh, Beefcake McStevens double play. So now Stuby has the lead, and he was actually that run that came in to score on the double play. The one pitch. Ball one. So once again, this game doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. But uh, with uh, Platypie clinching and the grapplers, as that's strike three ball in the dirt throw to first in time. Uh, as as I've said multiple times, Platypie clinching the division and grapplers not being able to have a chance even at the wild card spot at this point with just two games left in the season. As that's grounded to Stuby. You still you still want to see some good action as now there's two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. That's grounded foul to the uh, past the non-existent third base coach. And now Stuby's got it and he's gonna try to beat him to the bag and he will. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stuby's just having some fun out there on a garbage game. Now Jude Harrell's up and he's going to smoke this one high and deep to center field and off the wall. And he hit that so hard and he's so slow that he's going to have to halt at first base. Oh my. It's one thing to play the Pete. Or sorry, I messed it up. It's one thing to run around the bases with the piano on your back. It's another to stop and play it. My word. But with that strike one now is that's... Going to just be fielded by Electro. He'll get the out at second with the slow runner, Harrell. Now that's a fielder's choice being on base for Kerry Cartman, but they will take it. 
as he's a fast runner. I guess I should not call this a garbage game as it's not a wide margin lead for either team. It's just a team, a game that doesn't really matter. Now that's hit, perfect hit and run and just past the outstretched glove of Fielder. And Cartman will be able to go first to third on that. A perfectly executed hit and run and that will bring up Stuby Tubrick with a chance to get an RBI. And he's gonna pop it into center field. Under it is DeMarco. Cartman is tagging. The throw is gonna come into the cutoff man who wasn't even cutting home. He, Electra will fire it home, but well late by maybe 20 seconds. <laughs> maybe not that much, but my goodness. Cutoff was to second base, yet Electro still threw it home when there was absolutely no chance of getting him. Lucky Bacon didn't take it off, but I think he was just as confused as the rest of us. And now Bacon will go. It's a pitch out. The throw is on the money. And that's out number three, but not before a run scores. Thanks to a Stuby Tubrick sack fly. Now Spencer Slow will step in. Uh, that will miss and skip in the dirt. Slow, a sacrifice bunt in his first at bat. Didn't seem to want to get it down as he showed, I think, three times before he actually even tried to get it down. And now 1 2 is swung on a miss. Strike three. Another K for two brick. I believe that's five on the day. Four or five. And now with one out, that's hit to Kaufman and she'll catch it off her shoestrings for out number two. Ali Finder will step in. Step in, step into the batter's box if I can get my words across. Stuby Tubrick had to sneeze but said watermelon and got it away. Strike one. Now it's grounded to Tubrick. It will get past him. He'll recover. Fire to first. A strike. It's three up, three down for the Platypie. Grapplers looked like they were going to have their way early, but Platypie three runs and then Tubrick has been able to shut them down for the past couple innings. Now Kaufman up and quickly. Gets ahead in the count, 2-0. And, oh. and just outside, 3-0. The pitch will miss ball four. Don't want her on the base pass. She is a definite speed threat. Even with a pitch out, I don't know with the grappler catcher's arm, if you're really going to get her out. And that just caught the corner. Five straight balls and then that. Runner is going. It's Kitty. And she will get in there safe. A good pitch to run on. It was an off-speed pitch. A ball, by the way. It's 2-1. and one. And that's in the dirt. Ball three. Hero Williams. Good count to hit here. And she's going to rip one butt to right to fielder. Luckily, it was a productive out as Kaufman was able to get over to third. And that will bring up Beefcake McStevens here with one out runner on third. And a pitching change now for the grapplers here in the fifth. Rally Overo is going to come into pitch. He features a four-seamer change and a curveball. A 12, a 7-12 ERA, my apologies. 152 whip and 25 Ks on the year. And he's going to quickly give up the RBI for out number two. So Beefcake will uh, get himself the RBI this time. And now it's a 4-1 game with two outs. Nobody on for Muffin and just laid on that hanger. Right to King for out number three. Not before a run comes in to score, though, after a walk, stolen base, ground out, and another ground out. That second one was RBI ground out, however. And now here's another ground ball to Kerry Cartman. He'll field it on a hot fire to first, and there's out number one. Strike one to Bambino. Steady, fa uh, steady diet of fastballs. And curves throughout this entire ball game by Stuby Tubrick. And now that one is going to be cr rushed. And that's a home run. Um, a wall scraper indeed. 380 feet. And I the the Bambino will get his seventh home run, 18 RBI. Sorry, I was not more excited on that. That 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 just confused me there. And that's foul down the line. I believe it did kick just off the top of the wall. A a true definition of a wall scraper. And now that's grounded. Coffin will field to her left backhand. Fire to first. And it's in time for out number two. Luckily, got to it in time to be able to gather herself first before having to make a throw. 1-0 to the 
um, to the grappler shortstop. Now one and one, the payoff on its way. In the dirt, ball two. The two and two pitch. Swung on and missed, some housekeeping by Jude Harrell. No fire through the base runner somehow, and there's out number three. Scooter Sandbrick will step in. Looking for a chance to do something, he's 0 for two. Ball one outside. Seven hits for the Platypi. He does not have a single one of them, unfortunately. And oh, just missed that one. One and two. Now that's ripped but right to the fielder at second. He'll fire to first. And there's out number one. Here's Jude Harrow. As I was saying in his last at bat, midseason acquisition has been a great help off the bench. Despite his extremely slow speed, as he swings and miss, misses at that one for strike three, he actually does play the outfield. So, kind of remarkable. And here's Kerry Cartman now after Jude Harrell strikes out. Ball one high. Still just a two-run lead, so we, we would love some insurance here. And that's, that's hit right over the leaping glove of fielder. Kelby King will... Uh, field it and fire it back into second and then we have a two out hit for Kerry Cart Cartman who was listening to me there really bacon steps and he's two for two trying to once again show that he is who the pot of pie need to have out there in center day in and day out making a good case today now goes down or goes ahead two and oh big off attempt over there try to get Kerry in all fairness even though there are a, an abundance of booze here that just catches the corner uh, they did try a hit and run in the last in Willie's last at bat with Cartman at second or sorry at first but now they will trot around a base as uh, Willie Bacon is walked to bring up Stoopy Tubrick who is going to stay in the game and he is going to whack this one foul runners are going it's a pickoff attempt and Runners would have been safe, but Willie Bacon did not return back as that ball was buffed. What a confusing play to end the inning. To bring up Marco DeMarco, and I think that they're okay. In fact, I think Cookie sent the runners there because uh, because this is going to be Stubby's last inning, I would imagine. And now just past the diving glove of Kerry Cartman, so that way they can just use a pinch hitter to lead things off next inning if need be. But they almost actually would have been safe even though they were caught stealing. Now that runner is going. The throw to second is not going to be in time. Just barely. If that hadn't been a breaking ball, perhaps would have been a different story. Now that's hit too short. Kerry Carpenter will look the runner back and there's out number one. So the stolen base did save a double play there, but not a productive out as he hit it right to the shortstop instead of the second baseman. And now Rally Overo will be pinch hit for by Biff Noggins. 240 batting average on the year with a homer and two RBIs. Looking for number three here. Let's hope he doesn't get it, and he won't, it looks like. Kaufman will field this one, almost overran it. He'll fire the first for out number two. We'll see here if uh, Stuby can get out of this without letting a run score. Has to face the grappler leadoff hitter, Kelby King, and promptly falls down in the count 2-0. He's at 91 pitches now. Here comes number 92. And it's a strike. Huge curve there. The 3-2. Whacked back foul. Good battle here. The 3-2 pitch. Swung and grounded to Sandbrick. He will charge and step on the bag for out number three. So Stuby will pitch around some base runners again. And that will bring things to the bottom of the seventh. Well, Stuby will... Uh, not step in, it'll actually be Rory Crowds, who has a 333 average on the year. So that's ball one. No homers or RBI. Sucker Turlington will come in to pitch with a he features a four seamer, a slider, a curve, and a fork ball, 264 ERA, 137 whip, and 21 strikeouts. And he'll whack that one foul 0 and 2 quickly. He's also a southpaw. Now that's crushed into left field, but just under it, I think. And Bambino will make the grab right at the wall. If he had hit it where Bambino hit it, which was about 10 feet to the left, it would have been a homer. But instead, it's out number one and allowed one of that for Kitty Kaufman. Nobody on. Strike one. 
Checked her swing there. Ball one. Down the line. Fielded by Findir on the dive. The throw to first he is going to be late and dropped by Godzindez. Doesn't matter. That would have been a hit. Give her an infield hit on that one. Era O'Williams will step in. Got to be careful with a lefty up there trying to steal a base, which I imagine Kitty is always trying to do. Uh, 2 0 to Hera O'Wugliams. Strike one. Looks at the runner, and she's going to go. It's a breaking ball. The throw is going to be in the dirt. Muffin, she was going to be in there anyway, as well late. The 3 1 pitch now to Hera O'Wugliams. We'll see if they'll just walk her, and they will to bring up Beefcake McStevens. Who's over three? Does have an RBI and did technically drive in a run, another on a different at bat on a double play. Ball one. Runners are going again, and Kitty is going to be out on the pickoff attempt. Hera did trail though and will be at second for Beefcake. And now that's up the middle base hit. They're gonna send Hera Wugliams. And she is going to be out at the plate. Oh, my goodness. What a way to end the inning on the base paths, essentially. Hugh Jacobs is going to come in to pitch now after a disappointing bottom of the seventh. Hallie Fandare will step in. Yeah. Trying to do a double steal. Got picked off, did Kitty Kaufman. Then Arrow Wugliams got thrown out at the plate trying to be aggressive. So potential two runs that got thrown away. The one and two will miss inside two and two. The two two pitch. And now that's lined in the center field. And that is going to be fielded by Bacon before it can get to the wall. And so he'll save extra bases. Now Devin Godsindez will step in here with a runner on first. Nobody out. Kind of scary here. And just past the diving glove of Kerry Cartman. Muffin will get it into third quickly to keep runners at first and second. Nobody out still, though. Hugh Jacobs, by the way, features a four-seamer slider and curveball. A 306 ERA on the year, 164 whip, and 8 Ks. And we'll get strike one to Bambino, who homered in his last at-bat. Once again, true definition of a wall scraper. Hopped off the top of the wall in left field. That short wall right in front of the bullpen. And now 2-2 two and two the payoff pitch. Weak pop-up. Caught by a Wugliams, and they are not going to test her cannon. Coffin will cut the cut it off. And now one out for Ian Fielder. You feel a little bit better about yourself now, though, if you're Hugh Jacobs. And honestly, any Pot of Pie fan. Because now a double play does end this inning. But one and one. Now to Fielder, and that's grounded to Cartman. He has to charge. The turn is in time! So... That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Forget apples. A double play a day will definitely keep the doctor away. And now we head to the bottom half of the eighth inning for Muffin Studwick, who's going to check his swing on ball one. Curveball did not quite get back to the zone. 2-0 high. And now that's crushed into center field, but that's going to die just in front of the warning track. Hit it to the deepest part of the ballpark with no luck. Now here is Scooter Sandbrick. And did I ever introduce Tucker Turlington? I believe I did a couple innings ago. And now that's line to Electro. He'll field it just off the uh, infield dirt and fires the first for out number two. Here comes Jude Harrell to the plate. And he's going to crush another one to center field. Is he going to have enough of this one? And no, DeMarco will make the grab for out number three. Will to bring us to the top? Of the ninth inning, Hugh Jacobs will be subbed out for Walt Huckster, who features a four-seamer, a curve, and a changeup, a 284 ERA, .79 whip, and four Ks on the year, including three in his, or sorry, two in his last outing, which was last week. The one and one ball outside, ball three, the three and one pitch. Will miss outside. Or sorry, will be swung on a miss for a 3 and 2 count. 3 2 pitch. Swung on and missed on a good curveball there. Just ducked out of the zone and over the bat. For strike three of Electro. 
And now strike one with one out, nobody on. Grounded to Harrell, but just foul. The one-two pitch, swung on it, misses the back foot, curve. He goes down on three pitches. Now bring up uh, Adelmo Foley, the catcher for the grapplers. With two outs, he's gonna line this one off the glove of Kerry Cartman. Muffin Studwick is going to come in and grab it and fire it back in to save the double. And now runner on first with two outs, tying run comes to the plate and Ben Cringer, the pinch hitter who has a 304 average, two RBIs, zero home runs though. And we're hoping he doesn't make it one today. A one, foul back, strike two. Grapplers down to their last strike, and it'll miss high. Ball one. Once again, down to their last strike. Ball two. The payoff. Ball three. C cannot get him to bite with that curve. Runner's going. Throws him. Strike three. Cringer gets chiseled out of the ice. And it's curtains for the grapplers here in game number 31 of 32. They improved to 21 and 10 on the year. And with just one game left are in the playoffs for sure. Once again, the Grapplers box score. Two runs, nine hits, no errors. Your plot of pie, four runs on ten hits, no errors. The winning pitcher today is Stubby Tubrick, who had a great game. Pitched seven innings, gave up six hits, two earned runs, walked just one batter and struck out seven. And did give up one of those runs on a solo shot. But his record improves to 4-3, and three, so in, he'll end the season with a winning record. Walt Huckster gets the save. That's his seventh on the year. And he was able to strike out the side. And then the loss goes to Slow, who only managed four and a third. Scattered seven hits, gave up four earned runs, walked two, gave up a homer. And his record will fall to 1-2, and two, will not be able to end the season on a winning note and now your players of the game Stooby Tubrick coming in at number one we just read his stat line amazing day today Willie Bacon went two for two with a homer an RBI and a run scored all on that homer by the way and then a couple of walks and then Devin Gutsendez he comes in at number three. He went three for four with a double, an RBI, and a stolen base. So that'll rack things up here for today for your uh, Palata Pie on this special edition of Friday Evening Baseball. I hope you enjoyed this one, especially that lovely result. And I hope you'll join us next week, or next time, I should say, as a reminder to everyone that on the Classical League Jam gaming channel there will be no baseball next week as it will be kirby week once again but i hope you enjoyed this one hope have you i hope you have an amazing rest of your friday this is cookie cutter signing off bye